Well, hello, my YouTube friends and family. So, we are on Book on the Shelf Sale 7. I still got lots more shelves to do. <laughs> so, this is the books for today. And we are a used bookstore that sells books as cheap as possible. And I go through them, I clean them, make sure you get all the pages. I've actually bought a book before, and a page would be ripped out in the middle, and I'd be like, ugh. So, I made it a point in my store to make sure everything is there and we are found at Minda's bookstore more on Facebook so here we go Bride of the Tower by Sharon Schultz these are 20 cents a piece or five for a dollar strangers when we meet Rebecca Winters this is what the book looks like Forgot to show the first one. <laughs> the Vital Spark by Angela Carson. Afterglow by Rebecca Flanders. Two Weeks to Remember by Betty Nails. She was popular. I know a lot of people used to like reading her. Um, Mason's Ridge by Elizabeth Graham. Send in the Clowns by Patricia Knoll. Roman Summer by Jane Arbor. An Answer from the Heart by Claudia Jameson. The Wedding Cake War by Lena Banning. And this one I'm going to read. The Book of the Day. Extra, extra, mail order brides compete to see who can deliver. That should be the headline in the Gazette of Lolly Mayfield Swore. Here she gotten up the gumption to answer an ad only to find herself competing for bride status against two other women with Kellen Mc McCready as the extremely eligible and very masculine prize. If it weren't for charity, Kellen McGrady would have never agreed to be the grand prize in a public matching con matchmaking contest. But then he'd never met Lolly Mayfield. Sassy, direct, outrageous. And the one woman in the competition, or out of it, able to make his slumbering heart wake up and sing. So this looks like a cute book, and I like the cover. I love gazebos. Okay. So then the next one is, oh, did I show this one? Probably. I don't know if I did or not, but I want to do it again. Okay. Then we have Magic Symphony by Eleanor Farnes. Some of these are old books, but they're really in good condition. Passionate Involvement by Lillian Peek. The Doctor's Daughter by Judith Bowen. And one thing about my store is you are guaranteed to get the whole story. Queen Bee of Mimosa Branch. I like her toenail polish. Look, they're all different colors. <laughs> like rainbow toes. Okay, The Honey is Bitter by Violet Winspear. I don't know why somebody would name their book this, but oh, whatever. Lucifer's Angel by Violet Winspear. has a marker if you see the marker in the front it's only because you know some people like it when people's names are there but a lot of them asked me to take them out so I had to when they brought them to the store summer of fear by Lewis Duncan and I think it's because some had their addresses and they must not have wanted people to see them so it is what it is this book here looks like it'd be cool one red rose by Julia Garfield I like the cover of that and then, it's a short book, but look, it's like 
lifted. I don't know. It's cool. Then we have um, Gifts by Joanne Power. I love the cover of this book with the piano. Like I said, see some of the pages may be wrinkled. You can tell it was definitely well read. That's why they're 20 cents each. Okay. I love the feather on this. Unforgettable by Rose Ann Bittner. It's a very beautiful feather. And these are my 20 cent books on the 20 cent bookshelf. That concludes that shelf. And then we move on to one that's not, I don't know. I'm going to have to look at them to see if I can put sale price on them because these are sets. So my next bookshelf is going to be sets I have together. And I will let you know what the prices are. And you can either PayPal, which is actually easier for me. Or we can do a money order where people can send money orders to order books. And, you know, if you don't trust PayPal, don't have it. My bank's got to clear it, and then I've got to send it. But I have to go down and check the pricing for sure on the media mail. Because for some reason, USPS site does not give you the option to print media mail labels. But PayPal does. So, I might have to make a trip, even though they do have a chart on their site. So, it depends. Because I do have scales here. So, we'll see. But anyways, you guys have a great day. And thank you so much for watching. Bye. Mwah.